Hey everybody, I am Debbie Bellis with Feel Good Qigong and this is my part two of my diaphragm awareness. Um, my last video was about explaining where the diaphragm is, how it's, it's surrounded by your rib cage. So this part, part two, is about moving your rib cage. So we have these intercostal muscles between the ribs and when they get tight and congested, you're not going to have a lot of movement for this diaphragm to move up and down. Remember the diaphragm when we inhale slides down and then as you exhale, it moves up and it slides down, up and down, giving you an, a great massage for all your internal organs, for your heart. But if, if your ribs are tight, if you're not used to moving your body in many different directions, this whole rib cage will get very tight. And you'll also feel that in your back because the ribs, remember, they hook up, they wrap around, and then they, the, the rib heads <clears throat> connect to your spinal cord. So if these rib heads, if these ribs are really tight and you don't have a lot of movement, it's going to be hard to engage that diaphragm movement. So I'm just going to show you a couple of things that you can do um, to get the, the, the rib cage moving in a couple of different directions to help with this breathing process from the diaphragm. Okay, so Oliver's going to help me today. They move very they use their diaphragm for sure, animals. They're used to moving their bodies in many different directions. And if you really watch your animal, they're always doing these cat dogs, always moving their spine. They shake a lot. You'll notice how they'll shake off stuff. So we follow nature's cues by watching animals move. So we're going to come to standing. And again, this rib cage is right here. You know, we have the clavicle bone. And then try to see if you can find where your ribs are. You can feel the end point of your ribs. And that's the area where your diaphragm sits, right here. And then remember, when you inhale, it slides down a bit so you can get the air to come way down into the diaphragm. And then as you exhale, it pushes, goes back up, it flattens. It's, it's a very interesting muscle. It flattens, goes back into the rib cage, and then that forces your air to come out. So that's the process. It's moving up and down in this area. So this is what we're gonna start moving. So, um, you know, you can start by just, you know, maybe moving your shoulders around a little bit, starting to get that action going. And then we're just gonna drop our head forward. Not a lot, just a little. Let the arms relax and shake. And then you start to shimmy and shake out the head and the neck and the arms. Then you keep shimmying and then you start to come up as you keep shimmying the shoulders up and down. And then you can start bringing in your hips from side to side. So we're shimmying here, getting this rib action to start moving. And then if you bring your arms up, you'll start to feel this a little bit higher in the ribs, right? I can feel it when my arms are down, it's more in this area. As I start to bring my rib, my hands up, I start to feel it here in this part of my body. So this is a really easy move to do, you know, and it feels good. You know, you're getting some motion in movement and expansion uh, of these muscles that work for your uh, respiration. And you're also getting that diaphragm. Remember the diaphragm is a muscle. And now we start to twist. So you're just twisting. Start with just twisting your uh, waist. Again, you know, you've got the diaphragm here. You've also got all your rib cage here. You can feel, if you bring your hands to your rib cage, you can feel that moving. And remember, we have a back also, right? That those ribs attach to your spine. So we're moving that just in a little bit of a twist. Very easy, very gentle. And now we're going to go from side to side. So you're just going from side to side. Again, I'm moving, I'm expanding my rib cage, the side of my ribs. Now, if you want to bring your arms up, then you can start bringing the arms into it a little bit and get a little bit more of a stretch in the shoulders. So tight shoulders um, impedes your, your uh, breathing as well because tight shoulders will start to collapse forward and then now you're not getting that air into the lungs. It's, it's compressing. So that's why we really want to make sure that the... Um, the uh, shoulders are relaxed as well. So this is one way of just relaxing that shoulder. Now we're gonna bring our body into a forward bend and a back bend, very easy. Make little fists with your hands like you're holding little eggs. And as you inhale, you're just back, come into a little bit of a back bend. Doesn't have to be anything big. And then as you exhale, you tuck the tailbone under, bringing the elbows together, chin to chest. So now I'm opening the back of my spine. I'm inhaling, I'm opening up my front ribs, 
As I exhale, I'm opening up the back of my ribs. I'm inhaling, I'm opening up the front of my ribs. As I exhale, I'm opening up the back of my ribs. Inhaling, opening up the rib cage in the front. And as you exhale, you're opening, you're stretching the back of the spine. Let's do a couple more of these. These feel, always feel so good. Back and forth, and then we release. And that's it. That's all you have to do to start getting some movement. Because if, if we're just always moving like this, up and down all the time, you're never getting the movement in this rib cage. And this is what we're trying to get. We're trying to open up this rib cage and expanding and strengthening the muscles, especially the diaphragm muscle. Another thing you want to be careful. Let's so now now we've got some movement. Let's find those ribs. Find your ribs again, and then bring your hands on the ribs. And as you inhale, can you feel some movement in the ribs? Inhaling. And then when you exhale, feeling the movement. So you want, the idea here is to feel movement in the ribs as you're inhaling, because then you know you're getting the diaphragm moving as well. This takes practice to get this. So don't be discouraged. The more you do it, the better you're gonna feel and the easier it will become for you. And then you can also bring one hand on just one side and feel it moving into that side. That side might be moving a little bit more than your other side. And that could be because one side's tighter than the other. So that would make sense, right? And then bring your hands to your back and then see if you can feel, notice if you can feel some movement as you inhale in the back of your spine, in the back of the ribs. So this is all self-awareness of knowing how to breathe fully and deeply. Deep breath in and out. And that's how you start becoming aware of your diaphragm and how to breathe fully and deeply. The next video will be about the length of your breath. And I'll do that in my next video. Thank you so much. I hope you have a feel good day. Namaste.